being openly gay doesn't make you any less of an athlete or any less of a human. So don't ever try to be someone you're not. Don't be afraid to be comfortable in your own skin and don't try to conform for the benefit of others. Be yourself no matter what. Now, that was written in an article by your good self several years ago uh, that appeared on a website. <laughs> so uh, I think it's really important that we, we talk about things like this, especially now that it, it's Pride Month where we're shining a light on, on all things uh, same-sex relationship and, and all that. So, Hannah, tell me, when did you feel 100% comfortable in your own skin? Oh, I think, um, I think the, you know, the moment that I came out and was open about my sexuality with like my family and my close friends because of their response, you know, I think the whole time you're very, very concerned about what people think of you, especially those close to you when you're, you know, so conditioned into such like a heteronormative existence for such a long period of time. And so I think I became pretty comfortable once I realized that, you know, it is fine. So, I mean, it was, I was lucky enough to have an, a fantastic support system. Um, and yeah, I think it's, it's, it is important not to, not to, to hide and, and just be yourself. How, how tough was it for you to take that first step and, and say to someone, anyone, I'm, I'm gay. Uh, yeah, I mean, it's, it's terrifying because, like I said, you're always going to think there's something wrong with you because it's not normal or that's what you think for a long, long, long time. And I think, um, I think now, you know, late, late, like, you know, the, we're in 2021 now and it's, you know, the world has become a lot more uh, accepting and um, there are more and more people showing and normalizing all kinds of, of sexualities and, and gender identities. So I think that's exactly what helps. It's, mm. it's just normalizing it. And, and you know, there's, there's nothing to be ashamed of. Yeah. I, I ripped that fantastic quote from yourself out of the website Out for the Win, for which you are an ambassador. Uh, how important is it to you to, to play that, that role for, for other people who, who may be not so comfortable in their own skin, but thinking about being honest and open. Yeah, I, th I think it, it's, it's great to have a platform like I do and to be able to spread that awareness. I think it's really, really important that people with a voice can normalize um, the diversity of, of um, sexual orientation and gender identity and just being who you are. It's really important. I'm glad that I could be a part of, um, you know, things like Out for the Win, um, you know, particularly in sport. And I think we need to, you know, encourage the male side of sport to certainly do the same. Yeah, I was going to ask you, how, how do you think we're doing as a society uh, and how is football doing when it comes to this, like being inclusive? Are we, are we getting better as the years go by? Absolutely. Yeah, definitely improving for sure. But there's always going to be discrimination and homophobia um, all the time. And like I said, it's, it's important to have conversations and to keep normalising things. And I think the, the side that really needs to start having these conversations and being really frank and open um, especially involving straight allies as much as possible is the, the men's side of sports because that's the area I think that's lagging the most for sure. Like the, the women's side is, is it's almost, you know, um, yeah, it's a lot more accepting, I think. Why do you think that the men's side of football continues to lag on, on this topic? Oh, I think it's a... I, I guess it's just a lot, it's a very different dynamic um, in terms of, I don't want to throw around the word toxic masculinity or, or anything like that, but, you know, it's, it's, it's certainly like, it's just got a long way to go in terms of being inclusive and, and things like, like um, banter, homophobic banter is always, always around in the men's game and it's hard to, 
escape that. And it's, it's just been something that's been gone on for years and years and it's really hard to reverse, I guess. Mm. Um, so the more voices that we have, especially from straight allies, um, the better. Mm. What, what advice would you give to anybody watching the Kiwi football fix right now? They're, they're, you know, they're wondering how they broach the subject with their friends and family. Um, they're, they're, they're gay, they're lesbian, they, you know, they, they, they want to be honest with their friends and family. How, how should they go about doing it? And, and how, how do you provide them with the, the courage to do that? I mean, I guess, you know, it's a it's a, a case by case and individual process, like however you feel comfortable enough. Like it I guess just just if you feel that you need to like talk you know, um come out to someone, um just know in your mind it's never going to be as bad as you think. Ever. Did you hear it's that? The it's never going to be as bad as you think, all right? So it's time to have a few conversations. All right, Hannah, listen, awesome to talk to you about that. It's, it's wonderful. I mean, given it's Pride Month and, and all. Actually, before we move on to your love of, of music, um, Pride Month, it's, it's great on one hand, but it's also like pigeonholing it. You know, like why can't we celebrate all year round. And I remember a quote from Morgan Freeman and he was asked about Black History Month in America and he's like, why do we just get a month? You know, it's a start, Pride Month, but why can't it just be something we celebrate all year round? Do you, do you get my drift? Yeah, and obviously in an ideal world that would be the case, you know, it's, but it, I think having it singled out to a single month is to just really have a strong focus on the diversity of human sexuality and gender identity and um, kind of bringing to the surface all of those oppressed voices and those oppressed identities just for a straight month and that's all the attention all the attention is on you know that celebration and obviously I would love for it to be all, all year round but you know there are dominant groups in society and that's just kind of the way that things go but I think you know it's fantastic that um, we have a pride month like we have a, um, a black history month mm. it's great well we'll keep continuing to, to knock down walls as we go Hannah